We've learnt a lot about animals responding to stimuli in the environment, but controlling the internal environment, so inside an animal's body, is really important too. Looking at these diagrams, look how complicated the internal environment of animals is. We've learnt that there are lots of organs and systems all working together. So organisms are very complex. And all of these organs need a certain set of conditions to function properly. So organisms are complex and they're fragile as well. They need things to be just right. And everything inside an organism we call the internal environment. And this internal environment needs to be stable, like I mentioned, for all the organs to work properly. Things that they need to keep stable are things like the body temperature for mammals and birds at least. Some animals their body temp temperature can change and we call those cold-blooded animals. Things like water balance. You can't have too much or too little water inside your body. And salts. There are lots of different salts that need to have the right concentration. And oxygen and carbon dioxide too. Cells need oxygen to survive and we need to remove carbon dioxide as a waste. So actually, scientists give all of this a name, the fact that bodies need to be kept stable, and this is called homeostasis. So homeostasis is the process of keeping a body's environment constant. Keeping the internal environment constant. 